Hi, I'm Lewis Parsons and this is a new collection of work called The Flourishing of Hope. I think there's times in which we all question who we are and why we're here and how are we at all significant in the world that we live in today. What possible impact can we bring to serve and help others when it seems like there's so much hardship and terror and suffering? And I think it's in tempering the power of the light with the power of the darkness that you end up creating some of your most beautiful and powerful work. And in fact, you have your most beautiful and powerful life experience. And that's what this sequence explores. So I'd like you to look at each of the pieces in sequence, take a few deep breaths and see what comes up for you as you look at each of the paintings. Maybe even journal what your experience is. through times of deep questioning it can sometimes feel like we're in a we're in a dark cave where there's nowhere to turn in fact even at a, an existential level sometimes this is referred to as a dark night of the soul in fact it's often that when when we look at the color black we can think of that as something really bad dangerous and the reason for that is our evolutionary response to darkness is that we feel as though something will take us it's a danger to us it's also in the dark times that we see new potentials you know you only have to look up at the night sky and look at the infinite expanse of uh of the dark sphere above us if you like when you realize that there's awe and magnificence in darkness too So there's a figure here, contemplating, stood still, and in a moment of, of real self-doubt and questioning, is just finding poise enough to find any light in the current situation. And that's expressed by this gentle burst of light here. From that moment of poise, where we try and find our feet in a hard, tough time that challenges us to our core, we can sometimes find the strength to send a, a flare, if you like, a, a signal to ourselves that we can, we can feel or see some kind of way forward, just a single step we can take in a moment, in a heartbeat, in a, in a singular eye-opening, instance we can see this is what i know i need to do next and it's still tough and it's still hard and there's still turmoil but in that reaching up or reaching out to someone or to something higher or deeper than ourselves there's this moment where we see a spark of hope in the darkness And this hope that we find, whether it's in a, a decision to just 
be thankful for the, the air in our lungs, whether it's to be thankful for the spark in our eye, whether it's to be thankful for being able to feel anything in this giant miracle of life that unfolds every single day and that we miss so much of. Then there's the flourishing of hope. There's this movement through the, the layers of, of, of water and the textures of life that have held us back, that seem to be closing in around us. And like a lotus flower that blooms from the very darkest, most uh, removed steps from any form of light, there's this gentle unfolding of, of, of the torch of hope that we found within us that we start to bring to the surface so that even in times of fragility and pain there's an interior iron light that can can galvanize us that we can tenderly tap into and it feels like it flickers in and out and I this is not easy it's not straightforward but somehow we can become more and more conscious of of the things that drive us of the things that enable us to feel just that little more alive and thankful and loving today even in the midst of hard and tough times And finally, there comes a point where we can stand on a on a new horizon, a new horizon of our of our own making, where the hope that we so tenderly felt, that felt so fragile, as as fragile as the petals of a flower, as as nebulous as as the playing of light through water, that somehow by our continued attention to any of that hope that we experience throughout the darkest process that we can create a new glass ceiling to stand on. We can create a new foundation of light within which we can say we were here, but now we can move here. We can come to a place of, of triumph, of inner celebration um, that, that I think is, a, is the cornerstone of what really makes us human. It's the cornerstone of what what we celebrate most in life is is our continual ability in the face of the most extreme adversity to be able to overcome even in the smallest ways to show compassion and love in the face of of extreme hardship these are the humans that we celebrate most these are the qualities that we celebrate most in one another and so this is why the whole series is called the flourishing of hope because hope can take real, real work to focus on, to pay attention to, and to enable it to flourish more fully in our lives. So I really hope these pieces speak to you, regardless of whether you're in a, a time of pain or hardship or, or in a time of, of celebration, that we can even uh, be thankful in the face of, um, of the ordinary day-to-day -day elements of our lives. Uh, I really created these pieces to inspire more and more of that quality of light in all of us. Thank you.